Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Rule Waves as the United States, episode... I have no idea. Maybe 23? Yeah, we're getting pretty far along in this series. You know, sometimes I stop around episode 30, sometimes I've gone as far as 50 or 60 in one of my earlier ones, so who knows? Anyways, we're keep we're moving on with this war with Germany. Um, eh, I haven't gotten the big fleet battle, and you can see we're moving back from Northern Europe. We tried to try to get them into a big fleet battle, and there is some realism here, as it was pointed out in the comments. It's true that, yeah, okay, there's it's difficult to force an enemy into a battle. I'm actually not even trying to seek an unfavorable battle for them, at least in terms of numbers. You can see that they have you know, pretty much twice the number of capital ships in this area um, compared to me. So, I'm not, it, it's not like I'm trying to destroy them in overwhelming unfair combat. I just want to seek a nice battle because one, I'm pretty confident I'll win, but two, it's fun. So I, there's always these trade-offs, right? Um, how much do you model realism? How much do you make the game a game? It's a question that it's extremely difficult to answer. <laughs> and considering this is a, a really, I would say a strong attempt at being realistic, it's probably okay that we don't get the invasion, uh, the battles we want. We got, we have to just look at it in the role playing mentality that we went over there and just the same way the British were looking for um, a fight with the Germans during World War One, we also did not find that fight. I mean, they eventually did get theirs, but you know. okay, this is probably old. I was gonna say they'll probably take peace finally. Ooh, so our ship has been sunk by a mine on the east coast, even though we have minesweepers there. It's very unusual. I sometimes feel like the game isn't correctly model modeling things. Um, convoy defense. I'll accept convoy defense. It'll probably be small ships, but maybe if we're lucky, yeah, small ships. It's a battle, so we'll just try to run this one at semi-high speed. I'll just try not to lose ships. Basically, that's, oh my god. That's going to be the, the main goal, don't lose ships. Um, okay, we only have two in this. We probably should angle down because the Cunningham is going to catch up. Winslow, what are you? An invader, oh god, we have, what, wait. We don't have invader classes on the east coast. Game, what are you doing? That's weird. That's really weird. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a heavy barrage of torpedoes already. <clears throat> I think we'll just run straight at them in hopes that we narrow our profile so we don't get hit as much. Stop launching torpedoes. Prohibit all torpedo launching whatsoever. Just give a really narrow profile so that it's impossible for our ships to be hit by torpedoes or very unlikely. We are avoiding torpedoes. Let's keep angling. Perfect. Now we can make mincemeat out of them. Ha ha. So we've done a lot of damage. What are these classes? We, we should actually take a look. 34 knots, that's a modern one. 32 knots. They're both modern. Six above, six above, okay. So if we can sink either of these, preferably both, but if we can sink either, we've, we've really done something good for ourselves. Get these guys out of the way. And I would like to sink the G8. We're still pelting at it. I'm going to leave these guys. Okay, let's switch tasks. It sounds a little funny, but this is heavy damage. We're going to have our fast destroyers go after... Did the Great Lakes just get, like, mauled or something? Max speed of 29. Why are you going so slow? So let's have the uh, other destroyers seek that prey. We lost this one. You know what? we got to just go squad max, and hopefully the... Kazusko, whatever, will just 
go the correct way. No, she's going to stay in formation. I kind of don't want her to. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Hopefully that ship is already sinking. We're going to catch up with this one anyway, so this was a good decision still. And the five inch guns on these Cunninghams are really devastating. Oh, okay, the G8s are returning fire nobly. Avoiding torpedoes, my god. That's a very bold maneuver to launch torpedoes at a destroyer. We did the same thing, but you know, we, you just don't get that many hits. Looks like we took a little bit of damage, we slowed down a bit. We are kind of directing her back towards our light cruisers which is good. And actually we do want to angle a little bit above her because we'll probably drive her more north. Invaders, get the hell out of here. <laughs> uh, they don't even see her yet, but... Okay, let's get the Cunningham involved. Okay, good. Now we have her pincered nicely. This should be... that should be good. Okay, good. She's a goner. She's a goner, I say, a goner. So I wonder if that other destroyer will come back. Um, let's not ram the ship. Okay, that was pretty close. Okay, so go down to... Oh, we have a speed of 35. I forgot that they... I think we set them for 34 and then they exceeded our design specifications. Again, got lucky, so that's nice. Okay, all right, we're done with this one. Everyone to cruise. Eh. 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 Gotcha. Ultra fast. Okay, you're cruising. Kind of have to click ahead, like click, 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 click. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So we did sink the one, the other one escaped with heavy damage. It's pretty typical. They always get away. But the the more important of the two was destroyed. I mean, it's extremely minor. We're really not talking about a lot of victory points. We're not talking about a huge damage, not a whole lot of damage to the German fleet overall. Like, what do they pack in? 30. 3% damage to their destroyer fleet. <laughs> Not a whole lot. Now, let me verify that no invaders... No invaders are on the East Coast. What the heck is going on? <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> ay 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 ay. All right, these are obsolete and they are on the East Coast, so let's just redesign all of them to get them back. That seems acceptable to me. Um, it's already good enough. We just refit this. It's already got quality one, increased elevation. Nothing we need to fix here. We could actually redo the torpedoes and go two triple mounts, but there's no point in that because I don't think it actually saves any weight. Like if we add a triple, it should be 18, so 54, it is. So you don't save anything. So let me just make sure that that is canceled by redoing it and we'll save and go. Great. Yep. Mm -hmm. I would do it that with the Galvestons, but we, yeah, just, okay. So it is very surprising that we had an invader in that battle though. They are all here, please note. So 100 to 12 there, we should definitely get an invasion. And 63 to 10, we should also get an invasion. Well, at least we satisfy the conditions. Only the Navy can win this war. A cruiser action, uh, 55 points. They don't have any cruisers here small 
Let's decline in hopes that we get a better one. Okay, unexpected battle, convoy defense. Okay, I like convoy defenses. Medium, oh, that's better than small. Ah, no dice. Okay, the same thing basically. And we know that they don't have any uh, cruisers, so I can tell you this is not gonna be that entertaining of a fight. Same thing. Second burst, same as the first. Max, max. This could be a battle cruiser. No, it's a destroyer. It's the G38, the one that got away. I don't actually know if that's true. She's acting as if there are other ships coming behind her. So we'll keep our light cruisers pretty safe. And we'll do something like this. Good, so we just wanna push her north now into our light crew. Whoa. Got a hit. Five inch guns, right? These are the Cunninghams. I do want to sink this ship though, because you know what, damn it? Give me a battle with bigger ships. Oh, you know what I need to do though? I, I really feel I just need to move my battle cruisers into Northern Europe. And eh, we're getting a lot of hits. Doing some damage. Come on, I'll pause. Just to get closer. So she, the, she's had enough damage that, yeah, okay. So even our light cruisers are catching up. Do not launch torpedoes. <laughs> not the time for that. Just in case you were considering it. And move on in. Whoops. Well, we might as well, well we can pull away. No, we want to pull south, force her north. Good. Uh, we do not want to go broadside to broadside here. Okay, well that worked. Even if there are torpedoes in the water, they don't hit, which is nice. So it's another victory. Just a crew victory point slowly this way. I guess we can do that. Uh, I want to move some of my... Let's just move two lightnings to Northern Europe and see what happens. And you know what, we're going to put them on raid mode, uh, so I probably should have done that first. I forget the order you're supposed to do. I think raid first. Oh, no, it works this way. So we'll put them on raiding mode, and hopefully that they will have to intercept them. Hopefully. That's the idea now. Let's see if it works. Okay. Absolutely. What? Come on. <laughs> I wanted that fight. I really, really, really wanted that fight. Okay, fine, we'll wait, we'll wait longer. Um, is there anybody in on in the West Coast? There's nobody. Okay, so let's do this. Let's move like just five invaders or so. Five move to the East Coast, West Coast, sorry. And next turn, we'll get these obsolete ships. Oh, the Farraguts are also now obsolete. Everyone's obsolete. Yeah, it doesn't look like it'll matter in uh, here anyway. We really should be getting more invasions here. <laughs> okay, uh, well, we have a bunch of ships back. Okay, quality one, 14 inch guns is huge. I missed the one before that because I accidentally clicked. Cruiser action, please. Why? I, the ships are there. They're there. Let them fight. Stop teasing me. It's wor It's the worst because it, it really does feel like the game's teasing you. Like here, this is, it, jang it dangles in front of you. Here's the cruiser fight you really wanted. And then it doesn't give it to you. Sad, but whatever. Now I think we could. I would like to to get an invasion before I get the fair guts remodeled. God, they're the old gunboats too. 
Well, they moved all their ships there, so we actually, yeah. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do one thing at a time. Get these guys first. Uh, well, maybe we can rebuild it. I don't know. We'll see if we can. Uh, yeah. And increased elevation. Do we not have quality? Wow, goodness. My goodness. Oh, actually, let's put some mines on. We don't have this technology? You gotta be kidding me. All right, then uh, don't put the mines on. I'll just give us more ammunition, I guess. Wow, incredible. Or should we drop maybe one of the two of these and get what would a surface mount? Oh, we don't have... What? Oh, we'd have to put two on each side. Okay, so how much weight are these? 42. Cannot do it. Fine. Fair enough. We'll just keep it as this. Uh, so let me remodel again just to make sure none of my little changes take effect. I only want this. Do we have director? Don't. And... Ammunition up twice. Save and quit. Save and rebuild, not quit. Okay, good. That's one less obsolete ship that we have to worry about now. Okay. Wow, if this is... I don't know if that was a new French design or not, but it is horrible. <laughs> it is horrible. <laughs> Enemy coastal raid. 115. We have to track them down. But 115 seems to imply it'll be... Okay, there's our two battle cruisers. It'll be the main fleet. Oh, and what's this? Oh, no. All right, here we go. Hopefully we get uh, some sightings. It's nice actually in this case having the, oh, perfect. Not even speaking because I'm so excited about what this may be. I mean, we'll eat our words if this ends up being something which kills us. <laughs> yeah, that's a, those are two battle cruisers and an escort, so we're gonna have the wind advantage. We better peel back with our light cruisers. Oh, this is gonna be a nice one. Atlanta, I would, if I were you, start making your way hastily out of range. A 32, how is this? Oh, it's darn it, it is the New Havens that got retrieved. Are these all New Havens? They are. Okay, well these guys are going right into it then. No, 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 let's wait. Let's let our battle cruisers do, do the dance. I mean, we've been waiting so long for a battle cruiser engagement. Let's let's not ruin this moment. Mackinson. Okay, lighter armor than us. Much lighter tonnage wise. Nine 13 inch guns versus our. Oh, we have a quality one 14 inch guns. But we haven't upgraded, of course, yet. But yeah, 12 14. I mean, we should just destroy this. 12 inch turrets, 3 inch deck. So let's keep this at range. Which reminds me, we need to do two things. One, look at the time. Local time is 11 o'clock, that's great. So we have plenty of time before it gets to be nighttime. And second thing was just to look at range. So time and then range. We're just about to enter range, and I think <clears throat> we'll actually have the range advantage majorly on them. 
Let's get these guys to go this way. Okay, good. Now, unfortunately, if they don't, damn it, if they curl that way, we actually have to meet them the other way. Okay, go this way. They curled the other way again. What to do, these bastards. I think we have to pursue, yeah, so let's pursue. Let's go down to normal speed. Think about things a little bit clearly now. Oh, the molt cook glass is uh, <laughs> not going to make it. Probably not going to survive this engagement. Let's just pursue dead on. We have superimposed, I mean, super firing front turrets. So let's just get to it right away. Like, this is okay. I'm okay firing just my front guns because we have many more front guns than they have. Oh, actually, their cross deck fire is actually going to be helpful. Because at any kind of angle, which you could see they were already kind of making, they'll actually be able to fire a lot more guns. I mean, well, for them. <laughs> Still less guns than we're, we're firing. And they're all double turrets. Well, that's not true of this one, was it? Yeah, this is the triple. Yeah, so let's just keep them. We'll do chase. This is actually advanced, advantageous to us. Just to fire at range. And there's the Mackinson turret flash fire. She's gone. Uh, let me check. I wanted to see what her turret was. I can't remember if it was 10, 10 half, 11. Just to see. I mean, we're doing... These 14-inch shells are nothing to sneeze at, but uh, to get a turret flash fire, that's... I mean, well, it's obviously very unfortunate. <laughs> you wouldn't expect it as much from the Germans as you would, right, the, the British, but looks like they're picking up survivors. We're just going to plow in with our light cruisers. I'm trying to angle to get... I guess we should angle the other way. I should not be getting too close to these destroyers, which I already am. But, yeah, okay, well, I'm surprised we haven't just mowed down these destroyers. Let's get you, yeah, you're already focusing on that one. And I'm actually going to force manual targeting. And you are going to go that way. Yeah, so there's that. And you guys are going to also focus on a ship. Oh, she's dead. You guys should be focusing on battle cruiser. Okay, well, I guess go around. Oh God, oh my God. <laughs> you guys should focus on the other ship now that that first one is truly dead. Still hitting the von Moltke, the Moltke class. All right, it's now just a chase to get the Moltke, and this is this is great. This is a great engagement. We're taking out two battle cruisers. The reason why that's important is you know. We don't have to uh, contest as, uh, I mean, like victory point wise, I mean strategic point wise. Okay, and then we just slowly ate that one. <laughs> While retiring MS Minesweeper Reliance is torpedoed by an enemy submarine, that's weird. <laughs> so, it didn't even sink. It's just a very bizarre random event. I want to take a look at this Lutzow. Um, she had nine and a half inch turrets. Okay, yeah, there's definitely something to flash fires on that. Chewing on ice. Uh, 27 knots, just trying to figure out what's going on with this ship. Okay, I, wow. She only took three heavy hits. Engine room hit, but was did not penetrate. In fact, this was the first penetrating hit. <laughs> That's just some serious bad luck. That's like the hood, right? I think the hood wasn't it. Uh, I thought it was the third hit, which 
destroyed the hood, but maybe I'm mistaken. Yeah, I don't see any other uh, points of interest there, so we'll do that. Well, it's not really decisive. I mean, it is decisive for the eastern, uh, for east coast, but. And our northern Europe lightnings. I mean, it's funny because if you were the bite, the these battle cruisers, the wasp and lightning were probably like, oh, sorry, the lightning and Jarrett were probably like, why didn't you take me? But then they were the ones who ended up actually fighting despite two call to arms for the, the other two, the black gun hornet that just, unfortunately the game didn't let us answer. So yeah, as I was saying, that should uh, turn the strategic situation a little bit more in our favor. Like maybe they'll readjust some ships out of the Asian theater. In which case, you know, we should have a chance to, uh, to do some real damage uh, invasion-wise, point-wise. I don't know if that's the truth, but... Oh, okay, so despite our... Or I should say, in spite of us <laughs> removing money from the army budget for the Navy, they have done something to give us 1200 Am I... Is this real? I, I need to pinch myself. Am I... Is this dreaming... I don't usually have such luck. Don't play with me. <laughs> Whatever. Get out of here, game. Uh, so they are thwarting us. Okay. Man, I would love to fight the Graf Spee. Graf Spee. It's Graf Spee. I looked it up. Um... <laughs> uh, You know, these are almost done. It might be time for us to design. I mean, look, we have a lot of battle, a dreadnought names. And I do have an idea for this. Okay, so we'll probably call the episode to a close here, but first, and importantly, and I think very interestingly, let's look at, we have these 18 inch guns. I, you know what? I think I'm gonna do this crazy design that I've been thinking of. Ah. <sighs> It's really hard not to do the superimposed rear. But when it comes down to getting super firing in one position or another, you have to prefer it. And maybe we'll make this one a triple. Okay, so the reason I mentioned uh, this debate between 17 and 18 is 18 inch guns have this bug where they never get to quality one you'll never research it do we have to beat a four well we do so then we should because let's see 6300 yeah it's 300 tons even yeah i mean that scales up the larger the ship goes it'll be like 350 eventually something like that but whoops let's just go let's make this thing pretty big like what that is okay so apparently 18 inch guns are extremely heavy yeah, that was the, the real negative with doing the 18-inch guns, is that um, they take up so much space. They're going to be very expensive. But we don't need speed of 20 anything. I mean, 21 is probably fine. This is a, a battle line ship. I like, actually, everything here except, well, we can get rid of this, but can we, does it make it up for getting this? I want this at least at 13. Keep the belt and the conning tower the same. That'll be my, my metric. Probably could go for 4.5 on the tur turret top as well. Just to keep those things from flash fires. We don't need these. Um, get none. I think we'll have to go to 5 inch guns because there's no quality one. Uh, 6 inch guns, which really annoys me. Really annoys me. Gosh, it annoys me. How's this ship looking now? So we have eight guns per side with five inch guns. Really only gonna be good at taking down cruiser, or this thing really is gonna need to go with an escort, uh, light cruiser escorts, wherever it goes. Okay, um, so we can see how expensive even just 11 of these 18 inch guns are. It's the first time I'm considering not using torpedoes because 18-inch <laughs> guns are basically a torpedo impact every time they hit. 
Uh, I mean, I even want the turret to go up higher. Thirteen? Can I get it? Uh, I don't. the The whole plan was to make these eighteen inch guns and less turrets, just so I could go very heavy on the armor. But eighteen inch guns are just so big, so much tonnage. It's 3,000 savings if we go to quality, uh, I mean, if we go to caliber, I mean, 17 inch guns, which are still nothing to sneeze at. Have I overused that expression yet? I don't know, maybe. Something like that. <sighs> Interesting. Well, shoot, 100 rounds per gun is I, I honestly do think that that's all you need. <laughs> hmm. Okay, we got it. Well, we got everything I need now. Ugh. The problem with this, uh, the six inch guns on this is I know we're gonna get it the moment we build this too, but I do want six inch guns because the difference between 18, I mean, having the biggest guns means you really do wanna have sizable secondary guns so they can kind of ward off light cruisers, do something to light cruisers. And you know what, look at that. We're able to get it in. I'm just gonna do that. We're gonna hope that quality one comes up. And right now we have enough weight remaining to get advanced director as soon as that comes. So this is a 45,000, 500 ton ship. It's massive. <laughs> it's just massive. Belt is not nearly as high as I was hoping to get it. I wanted this to be kind of a cheaper ship so that we could just plug in tons, tons of them. It's supposed to be 155 million. You know what? Let me save this. I, I don't know what the design is. This will be the Ticonderoga. But let me just temporarily save this without building it and we'll revisit it. I think it's gonna end up being something like this, but I'll have to think a little bit more about it. Let's look at the comparison and prices. So, yeah, it's the, okay. Wait, I had a temp. I already had a temp. Can we open this? Yeah, this is a uh, pretty well. This is obsolete. This I, this is probably when we only had sixteen inch guns. Wait, did we get quality one sixteen inch guns? What's the situation? Kind of losing it. No, we have fifteen and fourteen. Uh, the fourteen is nice. And I, again, I might make an end game battle cruiser with only fourteen inch guns. It's tough to do that because <laughs> it is such a such a, a sacrifice in terms of um, damage. But but if you start landing hits. Well, if they don't penetrate, it doesn't matter, right? And the 18-inch guns will penetrate. <laughs> Believe me, they will penetrate. We, we didn't even look, but let's just take a look at the gun data on this. Yeah, pretty much anything under 20,000 is going to be... I don't even know what the max armor on this is, 18 inches. Yeah, so if we look at that, if anybody has 18-inch sides, they will... But you know, below fifteen thousand. Okay, I should say between fifteen and twenty, they might start being effective. But look at the deck penetration—just insane. Now, how much worse is it? Seventeen inch. Well, <clears throat> eighteen inch still won't be effective below fifteen thousand. And you know what the deck is? I mean, this is just bad. <laughs> so thirty-four to ten versus thirty-six five twenty. That means accuracy goes to the 18 inch guns as well since um, accuracy is a function of maximum range or you know where you are in relation to your maximum range. So this temp that I had once uh, designed doesn't look like it'll ever come to be. This must be a really old design. I, I can probably delete it. It was with 40,000. Yeah, this was an old design for sure. So we will, we'll just delete it. Build ship, delete, design. 
Because now the Ticonderoga... Okay, so th I didn't see what the temp cost. Would have been good to check. But the Yosemite is my in, in construction, right? Battle cruiser. 40,000 tons. Oh, this, this is it. This is the... Whatever that was. I went with 15-inch guns. Oh, because of the quality one. That's right. Uh, I would second guess... I do second guess that decision slightly. But it's true. You should have um, faster ships should take... Low. I mean, maybe... Maybe this should have been 14 inches. Who knows? So we'll, we'll see how the U70 does. We'll see how the 15 inches do. Are they going to do a heck of a lot of damage or not? We'll find out. We'll just find out. Uh, but this ship cost what? 151? Okay, maybe the Ticonderoga is not so bad after all. Maintenance is 685 versus 722 because of the engine. Obviously, the engines are pretty expensive to maintain. So this is actually a decent design. Don't act so surprised, Tortuga. You love your own designs. Who are you kidding? I do. I mean, I, I wouldn't design them if I didn't think that they were really good. Torpedo defense, I think you can't go... You could go to three, but it's just such a little change between three and four. And torpedoes, these things can be torpedo magnets at the end of the game. We're still firing 11. 11. 18 inch shells, that's just insane. Like basically I'm just trying to tell myself, why are you not interested in building this? What's the issue here? There's really not an issue. Okay, well uh, there's no point in confirming it now. Let me just wait until I get feedback in the comments, but I'll probably end up sticking with this design. I like it. So that'll wrap this episode up. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care.